get ready to wear it and share it, cause this is a must see, a bead bracelet or cuff, and it's 3D. The 3D bead cuff is the start of a complex design that's built from the X base and looks just fine. With its eye popping look others can't help but to stare, it's more than a simple bracelet, it can't be compared. So it's time to teach you how to make one and fulfill your creative needs, let's be sure to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's a list of everything you need to make the 3D bead cuff bracelet. The first thing you'll need is an x base cuff, which we'll build around in order to make the 3D cuff. If you haven't created one of these yet, be sure to check out the tutorial on how to make an x base cuff. I'll leave the links on the video and in the description to get you all caught up. Once you have your x base cuff ready, next you'll need 3 feet of elastic string, which is the string that I think works best for this bracelet. Next, you'll take that string and run it through one of the yellow beads here on the top. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string all the way through that bead, you'll pull the string all the way through, leaving a bit of tail end for later use. As you can see here, I've left a little bit of string on the end. Now that we have the string through that bead, we are now ready to add beads to the string. Using that same end of string, we're going to go ahead and add 5 beads to the string using a color pattern that fits this bracelet theme. Let's go ahead and add 2 blue beads, followed by a yellow bead, ending with 2 more blue beads. This is what the pattern will look like so far. Now that you have those beads on the string, and the string is coming out of this yellow bead at the top, we are now ready to run the string through the next yellow bead here at the bottom. As you can see, it's a straight diagonal path to this bead. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. Once you have the string all the way through that bead, you'll pull the string all the way through until the bead stack into place. Be sure to hold both ends of the string to avoid the string from slipping all the way through. Just watch as I pull the string through this bead and the 5 beads that were added will fit into place lining up. This is what it should look like. With those 5 beads in place and the string is coming out of this yellow bead at the bottom, we'll add beads to the string and run it through the next yellow bead here at the top. Let's go ahead and add 5 beads to the string using the same color pattern as we did before. That's 2 blue beads with 1 yellow bead in the middle, followed by 2 blue beads on the end. Now that you have the beads on the string and the string is coming out of the yellow bead here at the bottom, let's run the string to the next yellow bead here at the top. Once again, you will see that it's a straight path to this next bead. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get your string through that bead, you'll pull the string all the way through into the beads that were added stack into place. Remember to hold the other end of string to ensure the string doesn't slip through, keeping everything in place. This is exactly how it should look. With the string coming out of the yellow bead on the top, we can add beads to the string and run the string through the next yellow bead at the bottom. Let's go ahead and add 5 beads to the string. That's 4 blue beads with a yellow bead in the middle. With those beads on the string, you're going to run that string to the next yellow bead here at the bottom. Again, watch closely as I guide the string through this bead, pulling the string all the way through until those 5 beads that were added to the string stack right into place. Feel free to pull both ends of the string to keep the beads in a tight formation. As you can see, those beads are in the correct position and the string is coming out of the yellow bead at the bottom. We will continue repeating the same steps all the way around the bracelet by adding 5 beads to the string and running that string through the next yellow bead. Since the string is coming out of this yellow bead at the bottom, we'll run the string through the yellow bead on the top. When the string is through that bead, you'll pull the string until the beads that were added to the string stack into place creating a diagonal line of beads. So just continue doing this until you've gone all the way around the bracelet, back to the starting point. Remember, if the string is coming out of the bead on top, the next bead to run through is the bead on the bottom. And when the string is coming out of the bead on the bottom, the next bead to run through will be on the top. As you can see, these steps should be pretty simple and repetitive, with the yellow beads that act as a guiding point for the string. The beads added to the string will create the diagonal bead lines. Remember to pull both ends of the string to keep the beads in a tight formation. Now that we've reached this point, you will see that we're just about back at the starting point. 
As we've done before, we'll add 5 beads to the string and run that string through the next yellow bead. When you get the string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those 5 beads that were added to the string will stack into place and the string will be coming out of each end of that bead. With the string coming out of this yellow bead, we will continue running the string through these two blue beads on the top in order to reach the next point. Watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. This should give you a pretty clear visual reference of where to run the string through. When you get that string through those beads, be sure to pull the string all the way through. As you can see here, the string is coming out of this blue bead on the top row. We can now run the string to the next bead, which is this yellow bead here. This is the next point of the bracelet. Let's go ahead and run the string through this bead. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. When you get the string through that bead, you'll pull the string all the way through. This will set us up for the next steps of the bracelet. Remember, you can always pull both ends of the string to keep the beads in a tight formation. Now that we have the string coming out of this yellow bead on top, we'll add two blue beads to the string. Next, we'll run that string through the middle bead of the diagonal row of beads. That's this transparent yellow bead here. Here it is close up so that you can see. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. This should give you a clear view on what bead the string is running through. Once you get that string through that bead, you'll pull the string until the two beads that were added to the string stack right into place. As you can see, the two beads that were added are in the correct place, and the string is coming out of its transparent yellow bead. Be sure to pull both ends of the string to keep the beads in a tight formation. Okay, now that the string is coming out of this yellow transparent bead, we'll add two blue beads to the string and run that string to the next yellow bead here at the bottom. As you can see here, we're running the string to this yellow bead. So watch closely as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those two beads that were added to the string will stack right into place, creating an X. Pull the string on both ends to keep the beads in a tight formation. As you can see, here is exactly how it should look. The beads have created the shape of an X that's flared out. Now, the string should be coming out of this yellow bead at the bottom. It's time to continue in the same direction and create another X using this point. Once again, you'll add two blue beads to the string. With those beads on the string, we're going to run that string to the yellow transparent bead. That's the middle bead of the diagonal row of five. Watch closely as I guide the string through this bead, pulling the string all the way through until those two blue beads stack right into place. This is how it should look and where the string should be coming out of this transparent yellow bead. We'll add beads to the string and run the string to the next yellow bead point here at the top. Once again, add two blue beads to the string. With that bead on the string, we're going to run that string to the yellow bead here at the top. Watch closely as I guide the string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until those two beads that were added to the string fit right into place. As you can see, we've created another X for this bracelet. We will continue using these same steps all the way around the bracelet until we've filled the bracelet up with these 3D Xs. Let's show the steps once more on how to create a 3D X. With the string coming out of this yellow bead, you'll add two beads to the string. With those beads on the string, you're going to run that string to the yellow transparent bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those two beads that were added will stack right into place. Remembering to pull the string to keep the beads in a tight formation. Once you have the string coming out of this yellow transparent bead, we're ready for the next bead point. Once again, go ahead and add two blue beads to the string. With those beads on the string, you're going to run that string to the next bead point, which is the yellow bead here at the bottom. When you get that string all the way through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those two beads that were added to the string will fit right into place, again, creating another X for this bracelet. As I've said many times, be sure to pull both ends of the string to keep those beads in a tight formation, making those X's look great. So just continue repeating the same steps all the way around the bracelet, creating these 3D X's. As you can see, at this point from creating several 3D X's on this x base cuff, this part of the bracelet should be pretty easy to understand. With its repetitive steps of adding two beads to the string and running the string to the next point, the yellow beads act as a guide, making it easy to follow on where to run the string through next. 
Of course, you are always able and free to use the colors of your choice. Will you use the color yellow or a different variety of colors to match your bracelet? Leave a comment below letting me know what colors you chose to use to make your creation. When creating the 3D X's on this x base cuff, make sure that you take your time when running the string through the designated bead points of this bracelet, being sure that you haven't missed any points to ensure that everything turns out correctly. And, as a solid reminder, be sure to pull the string on both ends to keep the beads in a tight formation. With this visual reference, you should be able to see how this bead cuff is assembled and the X's give it the form, making it 3D. As another tip for this bracelet, I would also recommend that you use beads of the same size. This way, you can ensure that the creation stays in the desired form. As you can see, we've gone around this cuff creating 3D X's and have one last bead point to run the string through to finish the last X. Let's go ahead and add two beads to the string and run that string to that yellow bead, pulling the string all the way through to finish that last 3D X, pulling both ends of the string just enough to keep the beads in a tight, solid formation. Now that we've finished all of the 3D X's on this cuff and the string is coming out of this yellow bead on top, we can now run the string all the way around this cuff again through the beads on top using this path in order to reach the other end of string. As you should know, there are other ways and paths to reach the other end of string, but I'll be using this method for this tutorial. Once you've ran the string all the way around the cuff, back to the tail end of string, with both ends of string coming out of the same bead, you will tie both ends of string together with a square knot to keep all of those beads locked in place. When tying the string together, be sure that you're not as nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together. Feel free to tie the knot as many times as you feel is necessary. Now that your string is all tied and everything's locked in, you'll carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string and your 3D bead cuff is now complete. And there you have it, another fine bead bracelet design that was fun to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new, or you just haven't already, don't forget, you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to fulfill your creative needs. Until next time, be sure to wear it and share it. Thanks for watching Turbo Beats.